Causes of Team Conflict Team conflict can be initiated by many causes. The work on a project creates an environment that is prone to create all types of conflicts, especially on a project that has limited constraints, high risk, and even when working conditions that are difficult. Additionally, conflict occurs when the team members are new to each other and did not have enough time to build trust. Another area of conflict comes from the project environment, the working conditions, dependencies from external groups, and demand from stakeholders. According to psychologists Art Bell and Bret Hart, there are nine common causes of conflict in the project, and this can vary depending on the type of project. As a project leader, you need to build understanding on the causes of conflict that occurs in the project as a step to helping managing the conflict. Most conflicts do not show the main cause and can occur from one or more causes that have been building stress in the team. Understanding the root causes can help you apply the correct approach and reduce the chances for future conflicts, especially for dysfunctional conflicts. The causes are organized into three groups, project work with conflicting goals, roles and pressures, team dynamics with conflicting styles, different personal values and conflicted perceptions, and external influences from confusing policies, conflicting resources, and conflicting demands. Conflicting goals generally occur when an individual or group is given a goal by one person, such as a project manager, that conflicts with the goal given by another person, such as a finance manager. For example, the project manager might tell an employee that their goal is to get the work done as fast as possible, while another manager might tell that same employee that their goal is to do the work without exceeding the budget regardless of time. These two conflicting goals can create tension between the employee and their managers, as well as tension between the managers. Project leaders can help prevent or resolve these conflict goals by making sure that anyone with the authority to set a goal knows that it may not conflict with other goals. Conflicting roles usually occur when the team members do not have a clarity about the roles and responsibilities in the project. A team member may be assigned to complete a task that is outside his area of responsibility or expertise and it steps into someone else's territory. For example, a team member is tasked to review or change information in the monitoring and evaluation plan, a work that was usually owned by the m and &E specialist. This conflict occurs when there is no clear explanation about how roles and tasks are assigned in the team. As a project leader, you can help prevent conflicts caused by conflicting roles by ensuring that assignments clearly explain the reasoning behind any decisions which might be perceived as changing employees' ordinary roles. Conflicting pressures are similar to conflicting goals, except that pressures occur within specific deadlines or timeframes. For example, a team member needs to complete a report by the end of the week but she needs information from another team member that also needs to submit another report on the same deadline. Both have pressure to submit information on the same date and that creates conflict. This type of conflict occurs when the task schedules are not properly coordinated around the resources available in the project. The project leader can help prevent conflicted pressures by encouraging open communication and being willing to reschedule or move deadlines around to ensure the team is not experiencing conflicting pressures. Conflicting styles. In a project, a conflict of styles may occur when people are working together on a project. For example, one person might want to create a schedule and work consistently to ensure that the task is completed well before the deadline, while the other person is more casual and wants to work on the task and to get it done just before the due date. This can create a conflict caused by the conflicting styles of doing the project work in a different way. A project leader can help reduce or prevent conflicts caused by conflicting work styles by taking individual employee styles into consideration when assigning work to groups or teams. Personal values are a combination of an individual's personal morality, ethics, and values. Conflicts related to personal values in the workplace are usually caused by team members being asked to do something 
which conflicts with their own personal values. For example, a manager might ask an employee to work on a task that conflicts with his own sense of values. This can cause conflict because the person may be pressured to accept the assignment because they worry they might get reprimanded or even fired from their position if they say no. The project leader can help prevent conflicts related to different personal values by first understanding the difference in values in the team and then avoid asking to perform tasks which might go against their values. Conflicting perceptions. Just as two people can have conflicting work styles, they can also have conflicting perceptions about the work. They might view the same situation in dramatically different ways. For example, hiring a new staff to work on the project may be perceived by some as a good way to deal with the work overload, while others might see it as a message that their performance is not good enough and somebody is coming to replace them. Conflict in perception might be resolved by encouraging open, clear lines of communication. Conflict in policies. The absence of clear policies or policies that are constantly changing can create an environment of uncertainty and unfairness among the team. For example, if one team member is rewarded for doing the same thing that another team member did but was not rewarded, these can cause conflict due to the perception of unfairness and unpredictability. The project leader can prevent this type of conflict by ensuring that the project policies and procedures are fair and consistent with all the rules, regulations, and policies of the organization. Conflicting resources. Resources available in a project are quite often limited and in short supply, so it's not uncommon that team members compete for these limited resources to complete their work. When more than one person or group needs access to a particular resource, conflict can occur. For example, two team members need to use the project vehicle to visit different communities on the same day, and that creates conflict in the use of a limited resource. The project leader can help resolve resource conflicts by creating consistent, fair policies regarding the use of physical resources such as vehicles, computers, or even office space. Conflicting demands. Key stakeholders with high influence in the project can create conflicting demands in the project, from requests for changes and access to resources. This creates conflict with the team members who may want to satisfy the needs of the stakeholders. For example, a stakeholder might request changes in the scope of the project. While the request may be valid, it will add more work to the team. Project leaders can help resolve this conflict by communicating to the team and the key stakeholders the process for changes, requests, and other requirements from the team. This list serves as a framework for identifying the most common causes of conflict in the project. As a project leader, you can easily to recognize the root cause of the conflict in the team. It can also help devise effective conflict management strategies and create a work environment that is not disrupted by tension and disharmony.